Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how I'm going to make these earrings using Cricut Design Space and I'm going to be using faux um, or yeah I'm going to be using the suede not the leather um, to actually do these. So I'm going to show you how I put these together. So I went into um, images and I selected earrings, typed in earrings and I scroll down And I selected this pair here and <clears throat> I'm gonna click to save that little image let's see okay it's not showing but this is the number it's um M one three zero eight four nine F is in Frank seven you can also put that number in here and it'll bring the image up okay so there we have the earring that I'm using. And then I also went in, I'm going to exit out here. And I um, just came to just the regular images out here. And I was just scrolling through all the newest designs I'm assuming that Cricut has here. And I came across this love is all you need. The number for this one is M is in Mary 335, D is in day, B is in boy, 9, F is in Frank, C is in candy. That's the item number, and I selected that. So <clears throat> once you select your once you select your images, they'll pop up on your canvas, and I'll go ahead and ungroup these and everything so you can see exactly what I did here. All right, so when I first got them on my canvas, I did not bring these down any in any size. Um, I left them at the size they are. And when I brought my image in, I actually resized my image and my image is sitting at a width of 1.457 by 1.839. So the width again for the image is 1.457 by 1.839. And you, if you have to size this, you want to make sure you unlock the proportions if you type it in. Otherwise, you can just, you know, use your little um, arrows here to do the sizing. And then once I got them to the size I wanted them, I then placed them where I needed them. Now, one of the things that you want to keep in mind is that um, you don't want to do anything like center because I'm going to show you what's going to happen. If you go align and center, it's going to put it in the center of both earrings. Okay, so you actually want to I'm going to bring it back over here. If I can do this here, I'm going to bring this over. And actually, what you want to do is um, once you duplicate the image and you have them both, you know, where you think they should go, then just highlight all of it. And all I'm doing is just clicking in the white space and dragging over everything. And you can tell on the right side here where your layers are if everything is highlighted. OK, and so then I'm going to go back to the menu and select align and I'm going to say center vertically. OK, and that's going to get it going, you know, in the right direction here. And then I'm going to go back and say align center horizontally. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. All right. So let me go back center vertically. 
and then I actually um, dragged it down. So center vertically, and then I just kind of dragged it down because you're not gonna be able to use the horizontal because the horizontal is gonna work just like the center. It's gonna bring them both together. So that's kind of like where I'm gonna leave it. So I just kind of play with the positioning just to make sure that nothing is going off of the earring and that it doesn't look too far wonky from one another. And I think that's good. Once you get your earrings on or your image on your earrings, you go ahead and highlight everything. You're going to come up to the top right and select group. And that's going to keep everything together. And then, um, oh, and the other thing is you want to make sure that on the image, on the image itself, you want to make sure you change the image to pin. So you'll click on the image. I'm going to show you here. I'm going to ungroup for a second. So you'll go to the image because this is actually a cut file. So to change it from a cut, you want to go up to the operation and you want to select pin. Okay. So you want to make sure that your images are on pin and that your earring itself is on a cut. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and group this again. Now when you look over to the right, this is how you can tell if everything is in order. We have one more step to make, but I'm going to show you here. Um, it's showing you that both of your images are going to be um, are, are on pin, so it's going to, Cricut is going to draw that for you. And then it's showing you that your tear earrings are going to do a basic cut. Now we want to keep everything together so that when we click on make it, it doesn't jump all over the place. So we're going to come down to the bottom right and we're going to select attach. Okay. And that's going to keep everything together when we go here and click on make it. Okay. Now it doesn't matter what colors you have on this canvas. It only matters what color pin and what color suede, because I'm not using leather, what color suede you put in your cutting machine. Okay. So I'm going to be using a different color pin and my suede is not quite this dark. Okay. So now you're ready to click on make it in the top right corner. And I always bring mine down just a tad bit because I don't like that little edge because sometimes, you know, you'll find yourself where it kind of gets uh, caught at the top and uh, you don't have to mirror or anything here. Once you get to this point, all you have to do is click on continue in the bottom right. And when Cricut comes up, we're going to change our material to the, to the suede, okay? So I'm going to go to Browse All Material, and I'm going to put suede. Okay, do I just learn how to spell here? Suede in the search field, and click on the magnifying glass. And I select the Cricut, um, and you know it's the Cricut because it'll have the Cricut logo over here. I select the Cricut suede. I bought this suede at my at Michaels, and it had like four or five different. I think it was like four colors in there. And then you're gonna click on done. And um, I select more pressure, but I'm gonna have to cut this twice. So it's gonna once you put it in the first time and let it draw or um, onto your um, suede. After it draws the first time, you're going to remove the pin because when it gets when it when it's finished cutting the first time, we're going to go ahead and hit the Cricut logo and let it go right back into the machine so that we can get the exact same cut all over again. So I have it to cut twice. OK, but you do want to remove that pin the second go round because there is no need for you to draw um, again on there. Just do two cuts. OK. All right, so at this point, I have loaded my pin in, and it tells you that you want to make sure you move those star wheels all the way to the right um, until the cut is complete, and that's what I've already done. I select more pressure. I have my pin in clamp A, and I have the fine point blade in clamp B, and so I'm ready to go. So I'm going to stop the video here. Um, for design space, and then I'm going to come up on the screen.
guys. Here I am. Here I is. Hey, y'all. Okay, so I've already used this suede once, so you can see where I've already cut a pair of earrings out of here before. Um, so that's why this looks crazy like this, this, but this is suede that I'm using. It's not leather. And I actually cut this on the um, right side. Um, normally I would cut it, you know, with the right side facing down, but because I'm having Cricut to draw on here, um, I'm going to turn it going in the correct direction. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my, I'm using my purple mat. I'm going to go ahead and line it up here, nice and pretty. So here we have it, okay, just like that. And this is the right side. This is the correct side of the fabric, okay? And like I said, I have my pen already loaded. So I'm going to have Cricut to go ahead and draw my image on and while it's doing that I'm going to show you the ones that I just did I haven't put the metal pieces in yet um, but I'm going to show you the ones I just did um, right before this so I'm going to go ahead and get this started I had my pen down too far earlier and so it kind of drew a line on my on my suede and I don't appreciate that okay all right so it's drawing so while it's doing that I'm going to show you these are the ones that I just did hopefully you guys can see if I bring it over here these are the ones that I just did and I had the Cricut to draw a rose on there for me so hopefully you guys can see that and one of the things I like is that it doesn't smear or anything like that. So there you go. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and like I said, I haven't put the metal pieces, the metal wiring in here, but I think these are going to be absolutely gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Now you can do double sided, but I'm not going to because um, I think these are perfectly fine without being double sided. You can make them smaller or larger, whatever your preference is, but I went with what size Cricut already had in there. And then um, just like you saw, um, brought the image down. Now this little flower I also took from Cricut Design Space. Again, make sure you choose pen for your image because if you don't, it's going to cut this flower or whatever image. It's going to cut the image out. So you want to make sure you choose um, pen for your image, okay? All right, it's looking good here. We're at 72%. Now, once this finish drawing the first time, I'm gonna remove my pen, okay? And I'll show you here in just a second which pens I'm using. I bought these pens from Ross, believe it or not, and I absolutely love them. All right, it should be finishing up here. I like my little sublimated mug, a uh, tumbler I did for myself. I got to start drinking more water. I don't get the proper amount of water in my system on a daily basis, so I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better in 2022. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to remove my pen. Very important because we're going to have we're going to have Cricut to cut these twice. And so when I hit the C logo to have it to go back in, it's going to attempt to draw, you know, to do, redo everything. And I don't want it. I don't need it to draw again. All I need it to do is to cut twice. All right. So I'm not going to release my mat. I just hit the C on my maker again so that it'll go right back in and start the process all over again. And the reason I do that is because it does cut through the first time. It did have some little edges that I will probably have to kind of like go in with my scissors. And because I want those, those earrings to be cut perfectly, I don't want to have to use manual intervention using my scissors. So that's why I have Cricut to just go back in and do everything all over again. So um, 
yeah, these are really, really quick to make. As you can see here, you guys are, I'm, these, I'm thinking these are going to be really gorgeous. At first I thought about doing black, but I was like, no, I think I'm going to stick with my little kind of pinkish color. Oh, the pins. These are my pants. Oops. <laughs> One of my little things was open. These are my pins that I actually got from Ross. And um, I think I quoted the price on here once before, but they were $15, $14.99. And you can see that there are so many colors to choose from. Now, what I like about these is, yes, I can get them inside my Cricut. But what you have to do is... I had to go in and I had to cut this little piece right here off and it's really really easy all I do is just take my little blade and just go in and put like a nice little slice in there and then I go in and just take it off just like that and throw it in the trash because I don't need it okay and now it is perfect to fit inside of the Cricut Maker, okay? So I haven't done all of them. I've only cut the ones that I've actually used. You know, one day when I don't have anything to do, I'll probably sit and go through and cut them all. But yeah, not right now. But I absolutely love these. And they're um, gel pens, and they have like a hint of glitter to them. So I absolutely I love them. I wasn't going in Ross to buy any pens. I wasn't going in Ross to buy any pens, but hey, they had them. And I was like, I wonder will these fit in my Cricut Maker? You know how you're in the store and you see something and you're like, I wonder will that work? You know, and so I was like, well, if it doesn't work, they'll just be some pretty pens that I have whenever I want to write on something. But you know, this day and time, when you have a Cricut Maker, you're not drawing on anything manually. <laughs> All right, so here are our earrings, guys. And they turned out gorgeous, okay? And I'm going to show you here just how easy they come off the mat. Look at that. I don't have to worry about doing anything but pulling those babies up. There's one. And there's two. And let's pull that back up like that. And then I just take and push that little center piece out because Cricut did all the work for me. It cut everything out for me and also drew move that out of the way. Drew my little flower. And love is all you need. Okay. I think they are beautiful they're beautiful y'all so all i have to do is the hardware and i'm gonna do that later um i did buy some new hardware and so it came with like the little um the little loop and then the um part for the pierced earring yeah earrings and so that's what i'm gonna be putting on here i don't know if i'm gonna do gold or silver silver because I bought both but I think these would also still be really pretty in black so hopefully you guys can see that really really good and you can see I'm putting my fingers all over it and it is not let's see if you can see it there not smearing or anything so nice quick gift that you can now get creative guys and put all types of images on these um I was looking all online and I didn't see anybody that was doing this. And you guys know I love to be different, right? I wasn't seeing anybody to do this. I see a lot of people buy the printed um, faux leather and I was like, or faux suede and leather. And I was like, nope, I got this. I bought it last year. haven't used it. So I want to do something. So like I said, you can make them double-sided. You would just print out four or print, cut out four of these and then glue them back to back like that but I absolutely love them just like this without having the the extra layer there so I think they're absolutely cute 
and I am going to be doing all different types of designs now on this. I have some other colors. Um, I have some other colors here. Um, this is the packet that I got at Michael's and it had one, two, three, five different colors in here. So those are the colors that came in this set. And I don't remember, and they don't have a price on here. I don't remember how much I paid. I don't think it was very expensive, but I think that the two colors that I have left will still, I will still be able to draw on them. But I think I'm gonna go with either, I think I'm gonna go with black or gold. Black or gold on there. I think gold will be really pretty on this color. So I'm probably gonna do a couple more um earrings tonight and put the metal pieces in and then if you're in my facebook group you'll get a chance to see them all the way complete with the metal pieces all right all right guys but i just wanted to come on and share that with you and show you how quick it is how easy it is to do this and that you can draw onto this fall um suede see that with no issues no issues no issues okay all right guys that's it i just wanted to do that really really quickly hey if you guys are currently in my facebook group or subscribe to my youtube channel i want to thank you guys thank you guys for the support and if you um, are not in my facebook group or not subscribed to my youtube channel and you would like to join and show support for me on both um social media platforms I would greatly appreciate that, guys. Um, my Facebook group's name is Candorces Cricket and Creative Crafters. And um, on my YouTube channel, I'm over 300 tutorials now. Go, Doris. I never would have thought I would have that many tutorials, you know. But I have 300, over 300 tutorials now on my YouTube channel. So you can find some of everything on my YouTube channel. So please like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that you can be made aware anytime I upload tutorials to YouTube. And what else? Um, yeah, join my Facebook group and learn how to do stuff like this too. You know, I got my finger all out. Like, what, what is that? <laughs> but this this tumbler turned out gorgeous. It turned out gorgeous. I love it. I even got my little name on there. Doris is just a girl boss building her empire yes this wine is so good no i'm just kidding this water i already told y'all i'm drinking more water in 2022 all right guys that's my story i'm sticking to it and you know my, my motto is that each one reach one so that each one can teach one and you guys have a good night bye